Hello everyone, Zeph Films here with another visual review. Uh, today we are looking at the Liberated Borg Juggernaut. This ship comes from the latest lockbox called the Borg Lockbox, uh, which has a bunch of goodies in it. And obviously the grand prize is this ship. I did a fresh out of space dock cinematic video on this ship already. So if you haven't checked that out, please do so. Uh, I added some uh, some uh, action shots in there. And uh, so I, I hope everybody enjoyed that video. Uh, I'm also announcing I have one of these to give away. So I will have uh, details on how to enter the giveaway uh, at some point in this video because obviously I'd like you to watch through this video um, and I'm going to be picking the winner through uh, the comment section uh, but for now let's do the visual review so I am on Tribble I should say um, I, I got the ship on holodeck but I don't think this is a ship that I'm personally going to use I still use my crossfield for all my science stuff so uh, um, I'm just going to save that for the giveaway, but here we are. I parked myself underneath the Excelsior that's always stationed outside of Earth Space Dock, and here is your size comparison. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty big. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty big. Uh, I'm in a field of view of 35, uh, 25 even zoomed out. I can't get the entire ship in the frame, so we're going to be doing all this at, in 35. Uh, very interesting ship. Uh, looks a lot like the T, I believe it was a T5 version that came out a couple of years ago with Delta Rising. It was the cooperative. Also, I should say uh, I might stumble on words today, and that's not because of uh, <laughs> not scripting things. Uh, I had my eyes tested today, and they put drops in to have my eyes dilated, and bright lights are still bothering me, and text... Uh, up close is still a little bit blurry not as blurry as it was earlier uh, but I still having a little bit of issues reading small fine text if I stumble I do apologize but I'll try my best to get through this as painless as possible um, let's look at the stats of this thing all right so liberated Borg juggernaut it is a 5-3 with three device slots uh, has four engineering console slots two science console slots and five tactical console slots. It has a universal console, which is called Disruptive Topological Matrix. Uh, when this is slotted, you get plus 17.1% plasma damage and plus 17.1 hull regen. Uh, when you activate this, and to foes within five kilometers, it deals 1065.8 uh, plasma damage with 100% shield penetration. Uh, disables a random subsystem for 6.3 seconds, inflicts viral disruption for 15 seconds, uh, 3,190, I believe that's a 6 or an 8, this is what I'm talking about with the eyes, uh, plasma damage over duration. Each second while target is below 30% health, uh, there is a 30% chance to disable all subsystems for 6.3 seconds. And this has a 2 minute recharge. Uh, I'll show this off in the in the pew pew section of this video uh, there's the button there uh, we have another button here but uh, called plasma disintegrator uh, massive plasma damage uh, it has a 45 degree targeting arc it launches a plasma disintegrator uh, to foes plasma disintegrator to foes plasma disintegrator passes by 5744.6 plasma damage and to foes hit by it it does 22970 eight or six point five uh, plasma damage uh, so yeah crazy the t5 mastery that's on this ship is called enhanced nanite regeneration uh, so when using a captain or bridge officer heal on yourself it enables regenerative nanites for 15 seconds these nanites grant 25 to 125 percent of maximum hull regen per minute uh, right now, we're because we're just sitting here not doing anything, it's 25%. Uh, but the bridge officer stations that we have, we have a uh, Lieutenant Commander Universal Station, we have an Ensign Universal Station, a Commander Tactical Slash Command Station, a Lieutenant Tactical Slash Miracle Worker Station, and a Lieutenant Commander Engineering Station. 
All right, so that's it for the stats. Uh, let's go to Earth Space Dock and go to the ship Taylor and just take a quick look at all the different visualization options available to us. Spoiler alert, there isn't many, but uh, let's beam down anyway. All right, so here we are in the ship Taylor. Uh, as you can see, templates, there is only one, which is the Juggernaut. Uh, interior uh, just comes with a default Starship uh, interior, uh, so nothing fancy. Uh, windows, we have Borg Juggernaut, and that is it. Uh, material, we have Type 3 and Cooperative. So that's the Cooperative skin. And that's the Type 3. Uh, colors, doesn't really look like we can change. I don't really see anything changing, to be honest. Nope, not really. Uh, we go to the Advanced tab, and... I don't even know if applying a pattern will... Yeah, you barely notice it. Alright, let's just put that back to none. Alright, let's go do some pew pew. Alright, so here we are in the pew pew portion of this video. Uh, so we're going to be trying out the two clickies. Uh, so let's just start moving forward. Uh, I'm going to start off with the plasma disintegrator. Let's actually hit it now. So we're going to watch this guy here. Let's see if it hits. Oh, yeah, that hit. <laughs> and let's hit the other clicky. So, didn't really see anything graphical happen. But this thing turns slow. And I found that out when uh, when I was doing the, um, the cinematic battle scene. It's just like, okay. Like, I am... I can't press the A button any harder into my keyboard, and oh, we just hit an asteroid, or a really big rock. So yeah, if if you like the, uh, if you don't mind the slower stuff, that's cool. I think the weapons, well obviously the weapons that come with this, you're going to get rid of it. Uh, I would. Uh, I would probably slot this with some beams. Um, somebody might try and make a torp boat out of it, um, but yeah, the turn rate is just... <laughs> it it's it's crazy. You're gonna have to get some consoles to definitely turn up that turn rate, because oh my, <laughs> yeah, and we're dead. All right, let's try this again. This time we're gonna put evasive maneuvers on so we can turn quickly. Let's just there we go. I think that hit. Oh, but he regained his hull. <laughs> oh, they both did. That looked like a hit though. Anyway, um, I won't make you suffer through this anymore, so let's just, uh, let's go to the Solanae Dyson Sphere and take a look at all the different shields, uh, on this ship. So let's go do that right now. Oh, I lied. There was a visual. And I forgot that you have to activate it within your, when somebody's like five kilometers away. My bad. Okay, yeah, we're, we're leaving for real this time. All right, so here we are in the Solanae Dyson Sphere. Uh, here's a better look at the ship all around. I really do like the uh, the addition of the Borg logo, uh, the little red logos there. I think that's really cool. Uh, the skin overall is actually really, really nicely done. Even though this is kind of like, I want to say a chassis that's kind of being reused, uh, the skin that they put on it looks really good. Um, so... It, it does look pretty cool. I kind of like the shine that's on um, the hull. You can achieve that uh, shine in some maps that have a really nice uh, star in the background that's nice and bright. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, uh, to enter to win the one uh, Borg Juggernaut that I have on Holodeck, uh, all you need to do is comment down in the comment section below is uh, what your favorite shield is. And also be a subscriber. So subscribe and comment with what shield you think looks the best on this ship. And to find out which one looks best, we're going to do all the shields right now, except for the newest one, which I don't have just yet, but soon. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's go on to the uh, shield visual portion of the video. Starting with the T5 Discovery Shield Array. That actually looks pretty cool. I think a lot of the darker shields are going to just look pretty amazing on this ship. 
Next shield. Here's the tier 6 Discovery Vanity Shield. Eh. I think I like the T5 version a little bit better. We also don't have much to look at on this ship because we don't have nacelles, we don't have a deflector that's visual, so we're really just looking at the hull here. Uh, next shield. The Mako Shield Array. T5, should say. Uh, that looks pretty cool. You're seeing some uh, extra details around, like the, I guess, the cutout sections of the ship, which looks uh, not too bad. Makes makes the those cutouts pop out a little bit more. Next shield. The Omega T5 Shield Array. I I don't know what to say about this one. Looks alright, I guess. Next shield. Here's the tier six Omega Force Vanity Shield. So pretty much just like the T5, just anything that was yellow-ish has been changed to purple-ish. <laughs> Next shield. Actually, so I'm just going to loop the three-piece in all at once. So here is the shield and the other, the deflector and the engines. Um, obviously, the shield looks really good on this ship. <laughs> There's the deflector right up front. To be honest, I think it actually looks a little bit off on this ship. Um, I don't see the the animation that we see, or not the animation, but the piece that usually sits on top of the nacelles. Oh, there it is, tucked on the inside there. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but it's on the inside. And then there's the impulse engine right there. So you can see the nacelle part on the right of the screen and then the impulse engine right there near the left of the screen. So that's the Borg shield and the uh, the two other pieces. Next shield. Here's the Romulan shield array, T5. That actually doesn't look so bad. Not too bad. I think the T6 Romulan Riemann shield array is going to look pretty crazy, though. Uh, next shield. Here's the Riemann shield array. So the entire thing is pretty much chrome. Again, doesn't look too bad. Too much chrome for me, though, I think. But it kind of suits the ship. Uh, next shield. Here's the Tier 6 new Romulus Vanity Shield. Yeah, that one looks a lot better. I like this one a lot. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Next shield. Here's the tier 5 Nukara shield array. This one seems to suit the ship as well. Not too bad. Next shield. Here's the tier 6 Nukara vanity shield. We are definitely missing out on that bright light of the deflector on the front, but... Um, and I usually don't like this shield, but it actually kind of suits the ship not too bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Next shield. Here's the tier 5 Dyson shield array. Uh, <laughs> I think it looks too much like a cow. <laughs> Sorry, Borg ship. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I don't think this is one that I would put on it. But you might like it, and this is all subjective. So, next shield. Here's the tier 6 Dyson Rep Vanity Shield. Uh, this one, I think, looks better than the T5. Again, my opinion. Not too bad, though. Next shield. Here's the Counter Command T5 Shield Array. That actually looks not bad. The polka dots seem to be kind of hidden by little details. Like uh, if we zoom in here, we have all this like extra piping in that. And all the polka dots seem to be hidden behind it. So 
it's not terribly bad. They don't stand out as much as they usually do. So it looks good. I like the green trim. It actually really does go with the profile of the ship. So being Borg and all. Uh, next shield. And here is the tier 6 counter command vanity shield. Uh, I'm... This one feels like cow as well. <laughs> Not as much as that T5 Dyson, but I'm getting cow vibes. Like, I need to go have a glass of milk right now. Hmm. Next shield. The Delta Alliance T5 shield array. And oh my god, so much yes. Yes, 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 yes. Whew, that looks good. This is the perfect, honestly, the, so far this is one of the perfect, most perfect shields for this ship. It has the right lighting, it has the right coloring. Like, oh. If I was to actually use this ship, I would rock this combo for sure. I'm sure there will be other shields like the Emperor and Terran, but we'll get there. Next shield. And here is the Tier 6 Delta Alliance Vanity Shield. This one, not bad either. Uh, the T5 was definitely far more superior than this, but this actually isn't too bad. I, I'm, for, I'm thinking cookies and cream right now looking at this, and I don't know why. <laughs> Mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Next shield. And here is the T5 Iconian Shield Array. Um, again... This is just my opinion, but no. No, not for me. Next shield. And here is the tier 6 Iconian Vanity Shield. Uh, doubly no thanks for me on this one as well. I did just notice that the Borg logo changed too to a different color. I need to check one thing. I just wanted to put the Delta... Okay, yeah, so with the Delta Alliance, that Borg logo changed. I kind of wish it didn't. I think it would have been amazing if maybe that color changed to, like, a green or stayed red. Uh, that would have been... I think that would have been the... the cherry on top of the whipped cream on top of the banana split. Like, that would have just... Oh, it would have popped so good. Uh, moving on. The Terran Task Force T5 Shield Array. Uh, this one looks pretty good, too. Again, that Borg logo. I kind of wish that was popping out red. Uh, but this one looks pretty good, too. Or really good, in fact. Um, I have to say, though, I think I like the Delta better for this ship. Like, this is a nice skin on here. But that Delta just, it has the perfect Borg feel to it just because of the green lighting. Uh, this is a very, very close substitute, though. Uh, next shield. And here is the Tier 6 uh, Terran Task Force Vanity Shield. Eh, not bad. I gotta say, that Delta Shield really set the bar for me. By the way, there is no wrong answers for the submission. Like, if you answer honestly, it's, I'm gonna be using a name picker, so... Uh, yeah, there, there is no wrong answers to enter the uh, the contest. I respect everyone's opinion. Uh, next shield. The T5 Temporal Defense Shield Array. Um, I'm okay. <laughs> I, I don't have an opinion either way on this one. It looks kind of weird, not going to lie. Uh, next shield. Here's the tier 6 Temporal Defense Vanity Shield. Looks better than the T5. I'll give it that. Next shield. Here's the tier 5 Lucari Shield Array. That looks amazing. Can you imagine if those blue lights were like neon green? But still, this this looks awesome on this ship. It really brings out the different cutouts in that. Next shield. And here is the tier 6 Lucari uh, Vanity Shield. 
Uh, not my cup of tea. Uh, I really don't think the pink just works for this chip in particular. You might like it, though. Different strokes for different folks, and that's okay. This is all subjective. Next shield, the T5 Competitive War Games Shield Array. I actually like this. It's not bad. I like the combination of like the the lighter silver and the blue lights. It actually looks not too bad. Next shield. Here is the tier six uh, competitive war game vanity shield. You're definitely seeing the diamonds pop out a lot more on this and they look a little bit broken. Um, and for that, I'm I'm gonna have to pass, maybe? I don't know, it just sticks out too much for me. It could be my eyes, because the drops that I got today, too. Who knows? <laughs> Next shield. Here's the tier five uh, Gamma Rep Shield Array. Nah, not too bad. This side of the wall here looks like something where you go wall climbing. <laughs> Nah. Nah. Next shield. And here is the tier 6 uh, Gamma Rep Vanity Shield. Definitely looks a lot better than a T5. Does it suit this ship? Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, well. Next shield. Alright, here is the old Jem'Hadar... Uh, shield array. Old. Very old. I can't even remember what year this shield came out. I'm sure I could look it up, but I can't right now because I'm recording. <laughs> Next shield. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Don't, don't click away from the video. I'll go quickly. This is the brain shield. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The Aegis Shield Array. That looks pretty cool. I like the uh, the the little amount of uh, blue light, or not blue light, the light um, detailing around the cutouts. That actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, that is cool. Next shield. And here's the Bajor Defense Shield Array. I don't know about this one either. Next shield. All right, we're doing lockbox vanity shields. Yeah, here is the Herc vanity shield. I don't know if I like this one. This really does look like a chocolate chip cookie right now. It's making me hungry. Next shield. Here's the Ferengi lockbox vanity shield. Yeah, I don't think this one suits it either. My, me personally. Next shield. Here's the Kelvin Divergence lockbox vanity shield. Yeah. For me, this shield just looks a little just too vanilla for me and i'm not talking about like vanilla milkshake like it just looks way too vanilla too plain just i don't know it just doesn't excite my eyes as as weird as they are right now uh next shield here's the discovery lockbox vanity shield oh that looks good i know it's all kind of like it's got more tones than the kelvin for sure um but it's a really nice finish on the ship um, I personally would still have to say the Delta is kind of the king in this one, but we're not done yet. Here's the Emperor's Lockbox Vanity Shield. This looks really good too. Again, I think the Delta edges this one out mainly because of the, uh, the green lighting that outlined like the cutouts on the hull. So, but this still looks really good. Uh, next shield. Oh, okay. So, 
Uh, that was a small Zephgasm. Um, this is the Section 31 lockbox vanity shield. And I love the finish on it. Um, the, it might not have the green lighting that goes around the cutout parts, but the huge winner is the light, lit up blue Borg emblems. That, I wish the, the Delta shield did that. And the other darker shields like the Emperor and the Terran Task Force, I wish they lit up like this. Because that right there, like if this had just been blacked over like the rest of the ship, I probably wouldn't be as excited. But the fact that they're lit up and they just kind of, they pop in contrast so good is, yeah. Does it beat the Delta Shield though? It's, that's, it, that's a hard decision. Uh, I can't answer that right now. Uh, you guys will have to decide. Anyway, next shield. And here is the Zenkethi lockbox vanity shield. This one looks pretty good. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Next shield. And here is the Fakiri uh, vanity shield from the winter event. And I am looking... For I need something to oh 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 that red shine that pops out right there. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Hold on, do we see it anywhere else? I'm sure there. Oh oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, that look. Okay, I, let me uh, let me just say this: the Delta. I've made a decision. The Delta, for me, is number one. Um, the, which one? The Section 31 is a very, 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 very close second. Um, I can't pick a third, but I think that that red is just, this is, that amount of red and that shininess of red is what I'm looking for on a lot of ships. Oh, that looks good. Anyway, uh, we have some more shields to go, so let's just, next shield all right deep space niners i think all of these might look silly with the exception of the bozeman uh, but we'll go through them the ferenginar liquidators Oof, it's too much green i'm sorry the cation claws It just looks kind of weird. The Bozeman Titans. I thought this was going to look good-ish. Uh, it looks more weird-ish. Uh, I think it's the yellow spots. <laughs> Can't win them all. The Vulcan Logicians. It actually does not look all that bad on here. Not too bad. And the Denebian Slime Devils. That just... That looks just so weird on this ship. Oh, man. Last minute note, I just want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to uh, Esper. Uh, he reached out to me on the Facebook page uh, through private message and asked uh, if... Uh, I needed the new Borg vanity shield uh, and I had been trying to get it and wasn't able to uh, so he so graciously uh, donated it for use of the channel uh, so thank you very much to Esper for donating the shield I really really do appreciate it um, I have it equipped on this ship and we're not seeing really much of a difference uh, so I think going further we'll be able to notice it more on uh, other ships but uh yeah we have another shield that we can add to the lineup i look forward to seeing it on other ships and thank you again esper and that is it for the visual review so just a reminder uh i am giving one of these away uh on holodeck uh, so i do have one uh if you want to enter to win one all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment in the comment section about uh 
what shields you personally thought looked the best on this ship. I'll leave the contest open until Friday night, uh, midnight Eastern time, and I'll pick the winner and announce it on Twitter, and I'll also announce it in the, uh, the YouTube community section. Uh, so uh, if you're subscribed, you should get a notification when I, uh, when I post in the community discussion section. So uh, yeah, so good luck. Uh, and uh, I would like to try and do more of these giveaways too. So uh, this is something that I'm going to try doing more in the future. Uh, yeah, so that, anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, my throat is really dry and I need to go quickly edit this. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, share, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.